What would you do if you received 73 Treceptua Gentilian dollars for shifting 74 courses over 74 years? Imagine the sheer scale of that number, a digit followed by a staggering 42 zeros. It's a number so vast it dwarfs even the global economy several times over. Now consider the proposition, changing your course annually. Each year, a new direction, a new pursuit, a complete shift in trajectory. What begins as an exciting journey of constant learning and adaptation might soon spiral into a challenge of endurance and identity. Shifting courses annually isn't just about changing jobs or academic fields, it's about redefining oneself repeatedly. It's about the resilience to unlearn and relearn, to leave behind expertise and comfort zones for the unknown. This thought experiment isn't merely a test of adaptability, it's a profound exploration of the human spirit. Imagine the first few years. The excitement of new beginnings would likely fuel the initial shifts. Learning new languages, diving into different cultures, mastering varied professional skills. Each year offers a fresh world on a platter. But as decades pass, this constant change might weigh heavily. Would the excitement wane? Would the constant upheaval foster a sense of loss, as each new beginning implies an end? On a personal level, such a lifestyle could either be liberating or isolating. The continuous growth and diverse experiences might make one a well-rounded, highly adaptable individual. On the flip side, it could lead to a lack of deep, long-term connections with people and places. Relationships might be fleeting, homes merely transient stops. From a societal perspective, the impacts could be equally monumental. If this were a widespread practice, industries would need to adapt to a workforce that shifts dramatically each year. Education systems might evolve to offer more flexible, diverse curriculums to prepare individuals for constant change. Economically, such fluidity in career paths could lead to a dynamic, innovative environment, but might also cause instability as traditional career ladders disappear. Now let's circle back to that mind-boggling reward, 73 Treceptua Gentilian dollars. In a real-world scenario, possessing such wealth could shift economies, influence global markets, and redefine power structures. The ethical and economic implications of such wealth accumulation are profound. Would such a fortune encourage more risk-taking and innovation, or lead to unprecedented inequality and societal disruption? As this thought experiment unfolds, it challenges us to think about the value we place on stability versus change, wealth versus experience. It tests the boundaries of human adaptability and the societal structures that either support or restrain it. In conclusion, the scenario of changing courses annually, tied to an unimaginable reward, serves as a fascinating mirror to our values and capabilities. It pushes us to ponder on what truly enriches our lives. Is it the constant pursuit of the new, or the deepening of roots in familiar soil? As we wrap up this exploration, it becomes clear that the journey and the reward are profoundly interlinked, each shaping our understanding of the other.